2024 is a big election year for the United States. Polling places are always in need of election judges, and that's why the Ogle County Clerk's Office has training coming up for people wanting to volunteer their time. Joining me to discuss this is Ogle County Clerk Laura Cook. Hi, welcome. Well, thank you very much. Of course. So let's just start with the basics. Exactly what is an election judge? So an election judge is the person at the polling place that will uh, make sure that all the voters that show up uh, can vote. What they'll do is they'll go ahead and double check with their address um, and make sure they're registered to vote. And then they take care of everything throughout the entire day from making sure people aren't campaigning while they're at the polling place because you can't wear any uh, paraphernalia in, in there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they pretty much control the environment in there and just make sure everybody's um, has their right to vote. Yeah. Okay, and so these are all volunteers, correct? Right, they do get paid. Okay. Um, it's not a lot. Um, I did ask for an increase, which we're going to vote on next month um, at the Finance Committee and the County Board meeting. Mm -hmm. It's usually about $150 for the day or $170 if you do the election judge schooling. Mm -hmm. um, because it's a long day. You get there at 5 o'clock in the morning. You're there until after 7 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that everything balances with your applications and your ballots um, and work together as a team. And we have some great judges in Ogle County, and I know they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that was one thing I was curious about. So you do stay for the entirety of the day from five in the morning before the voters even get there to after the voters are done. Right, okay. right. So uh, usually the presidentials, um, the 2020 was very busy. A lot of times they didn't even really get to take a break for lunch. Um, you just kind of have to work around things to see if you can if you can have a lunch. Mm -hmm. They have to bring their own food and drink since they can't leave for the day. Mm -hmm. So it is, I mean, it's a big commitment for maybe one day or so, but why would you encourage people to do this? Why is it such an important job and part of the election? It's a great way to see the election process. Mm -hmm. um, from the time that you um, show up at the plan place, unlock everything, make sure you get your ballots out, make sure you get the machines ready, and just to see how things flow throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you incur you do enter into some um, issues where they'll have to call us. Um, but it's a great way to see how the election process works from the beginning to the end. Absolutely. Okay, and so finally, you have some courses coming up for people to learn about everything and how it works. Tell us um, where and when that's happening and how they can sign up. So what we do is we have five different classes um, on January 17th, 19th, and 20th. And there are different times, uh, 10 o'clock, 3 o'clock. We have a 3 o'clock on the 19th, 6 o'clock in the evening on Friday night, mm -hmm. and then on Saturday at 10 o'clock to kind of give everybody an opportunity to come to the classes. Okay, and they'll kind of learn all the ins and outs so they're prepared for the day, they know everything they need to know, and then um, where will this take place? Oh, yes, it'll take place here at the old historic courthouse up on the third floor in the county boardroom. Okay, and they can give you a call um, to reserve a spot, and we will also put that number online for people who are interested in doing that. Thank you so much, Laura, for being here and sharing this with us, and good luck with all of the uh, busy elections ahead this year. Thank you very much, Anna. Of course. Thank you. Of course. Take care. You too.